Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 13 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem from 2.1 to 2.5, exercises 2.1 and 2.2, examples 1 to 8, questions from 1 to 11 from exercise 2.3. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 13 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangle says D is a point on side BC of a triangle ABC. Here the figure is not given. First of all, let us draw the figure here. Let us draw a triangle ABC where D is a point on the side BC of a triangle ABC. Okay, there is a point D on the side BC such that angle ADC is equal to angle BAC and we have to show that the CA square is equal to CB into CD. So they have given us that the angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. So since we have to prove that CA square is equal to CB into CD, let us take this as a hint and let us find out the triangles to be considered. If you observe here, they have given us the three sides CA, CB and CD. So we have the side CA, CB and CD. So which are the two triangles which are formed by these three sides? So if you take the side CA and CB which forms two sides of the triangle ABC, right? And from the side CA and CD, from the side CA and CD, the triangle ADC is formed. So we will consider triangle ABC and triangle ADC, okay? So write down in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. So what is given here? They have given us that the angle ADC is equal to angle BAC in these two triangles. So write down that first. Angle BAC that is in the triangle ABC is equal to angle ADC in triangle ADC. Okay, so this is what is given. If you also notice that this angle C is common for these two triangles, that is angle ACD is equal to angle ACB, right? Because angle C is common for these two triangle ABC and ADC. So let us write down angle ACB is equal to angle ACD, that is the common angle. Okay, so we have got two angles equal in the triangle ABC and ADC. Therefore, we can apply the angle-angle similarity criteria here to prove that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADC, right? So by angle-angle similarity criteria, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADC right and also since these two triangles are similar now the corresponding sides of these two triangles will be proportional right so we will write corresponding proportional sides of these two triangles so which are the sides to be considered which will be proportional here always remember that side opposite to equal angles will be proportional so here, since we said these two angles are equal, so sides opposite to these two angles will be proportional. So let us consider the angle BAC of triangle ABC, that this is the angle BAC. A side opposite to this angle BAC is which side? BC, right? So write down that BC divided by, since BAC is equal to ADC, since BA, this angle is equal to this angle, then the side opposite to this angle is what? AC. So we will take BC by AC is equal to, and also we said that the angle ACB is equal to angle ACD. It is D here. Please correct it. This is the angle ACB and the side opposite to this angle is angle AB in triangle ABC. So we will write down AB divided by so angle ACD so this angle if in the triangle ADC it is opposite to the side AD so we will take AD okay 
So this will be equal to which is the third side left in triangle ABC? It is CA divided by the third side left out in triangle ADC is CD. So write down that also CD. So always remember the equal angles opposite sides of two triangles will be proportional. So accordingly we have written down this ratio. So now since we have to prove that CA square is equal to CB into CD. So we will consider the ratios which consider these sides that is CA, CD. We have here CA and CB. So we will take only these two sides. Okay. Let us write down BC as CB and AC as CA since we have to prove in these terms. So CB by CA is equal to CA by CD. Now cross multiply these two ratios. So if you cross multiply we will get CA into CA is equal to CB into CD. Right. So CA into CA is equal to CB into CD. So CA into CA is what? CA square that is equal to CB into CD. Right. So this is what we have to prove. Okay. It is very simple. Since we had to show CA square is equal to CB into CD, we consider the triangles including these sides that is triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Then we prove these two triangles to be similar by taking the given triangle and the common angle. After proving these two triangles to be similar, we took the ratios of the similar triangles and we derived this equation that is CA square is equal to CB into CD. Right? So this is very simple. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I will be solving question number 14 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2, triangles. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I will be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC Edzard Math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen. Thank you.